Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. Uh, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the pivot point in 3ds Max. The, uh, pivot point is the point that you define uh, any object position in 3ds Max. Not just position, but position is the I guess the most basic thing. Uh, so let's create a box. Uh, the dimensions uh, are not that important. You, you can create it uh, however you want. Uh, now, when you hit W to go to the Move tool, you will see a position in here, as we talked before. And this position, of course, this is a sum of a lot of points, right? This is actually a sum of a lot of surfaces or faces or edges, whatever you call it. Uh, but this position is the position of this pivot point in here. So this, this object is defined by or placed uh, by this pivot point. Uh, into 3ds max uh, space uh, let's say okay if you zero these values or as we tell to move the object to the origin for example we always talk about this point going to the origin right and also this is not the only function of the pivot point it also uh, defines or it, it also sets the rotating rotation point or rotating point of the object uh, this is also uh, the pivot points job and I guess we usually use it like this and also the scale point as well okay if I scale this object right now you will uh, you will recognize or realize that it's not scaling downwards uh, or below the grid right because the pivot point is at the grid if I move this to the center of the object which you can do with going to the hierarchy tab in here clicking on the effect pivot point only and if you click on the center to object it will move the pivot point to the center of the object and now if I disable this and scale it you will see that the object will go beyond or uh, not beyond in this case beneath the uh, grid plane okay because the scaling up is occurring from this point the center point of the object if I hit ctrl z it will undo what I did if I hit Ctrl Z again, it will also move the pivot point to the bottom. And uh, this is, uh, as you can see, the original pivot point position of the box. And you can realize that if you create a new object, it usually has a certain pivot point, which in box case is the center point of the bottom face of the box. And also if I draw a sphere, it's the center point. And if I create a cylinder, it's the, again, center point of the bottom face of the cylinder and all and so on you can try all these out and see where the original pivot points are okay now let's talk about how we can change the position of this pivot point uh, actually we uh, saw that before uh, actually we saw that twice but i want to uh, show i want to talk more uh, in depth about this so let's create a let's imitate a table for example let's create a cylinder at the pivot point I'm going with the uh, with some simple exercises because we will get more and more complex as the lessons progress but we are just at the start so I'm going for similar and uh, simple objects so hang in there let's set the radius to 50 and let's set the height to uh, 5 okay and I can just reduce the height segments because we don't need them it doesn't really matter right now but whatever okay let's hit W and move this to the, to the origin first and then I want to pull this up in the z-axis. Let's uh, put this to 70 centimeters. And now uh, let's say I want to create a another box. Sorry, a box. <laughs> the, the original object was a cylinder. So let's create a box. And now what I want to do is I want to change the position of the, the y-axis to 0. And for the x-axis, I want to set this to 100. It, again, it really doesn't matter, but I want the... Uh, example or sample or the objects we are creating to look same so I'm telling you uh, the dimensions or the positions but you can freely uh, change them and see what's happening in your example or your, your model okay so let's hit uh, P for, to go to the perspective and let's hit Z to zoom in to the objects now Previous example we uh, made with this pivot point uh, thing is we changed the position of the box, uh, the pivot point position of the box, and we put it to the center of the cylinder or the table uh, in the previous example, and then we rotated it around the table. So let's do that first, and then let's see or explore what we can do more with this. Let's go to the um, hierarchy panel again or tab again, 
and let's uh, activate the effect put only. When you do this, when you activate the effect put only, uh, when you apply a uh, transform tool in 3ds Max, uh, you know that they are made up of move, rotate, and scale. And we seen we have seen some more uh, transform tools, but for now let's think about these three. And uh, it will only apply to the pivot point of the object, not the object itself. Okay. Uh, so if I disable this, then you will apply it to the object. If I enable this, it will only apply to the uh, pivot point. That's the whole story uh, behind this. Actually, when if you know this, you uh, don't need to uh, learn any more about this. This is very simple. And uh, the other tools in here are all shortcuts uh, for stuff like centering uh, the pivot point to the object, for example, or aligning the pivot point to the world, for example. Okay. Uh, for now, I want to... Uh, place this to the origin because the center point of the uh, cylinder is aligned with the uh, origin. Uh, so let's uh, change the X value to zero. And when I close this and hit uh, E to go into the rotate tool, when I rotate this, you will see that it will rotate around the table. And this was what we wanted. And if I hit A uh, for the angle snap, then I can just hold shift and rotate this 90 degrees, for example. Uh, I by accident I move this 95 degrees so I will hit cancel and do the same thing again and if I select instance it will create instance copies and if I type in three in here uh, it will create three copies of this box and now we have a table like this okay okay so what uh, more uh, can we use this for uh, the first thing I use this for is when scaling the objects uh, let's say we have a tree or an, uh, a table in this example. Let's uh, start with the table, then we will talk about the tree. I can just hold shift and create an instance of this. Uh, actually, let's uh, make this unique because I want to create a copy of that actually. And I will move that to the origin. Uh, by the way, if you don't remember, this button, make unique button in here uh, will um, break this instance uh, thing between these two objects. Okay. If I create an instance copy, for example, I hit this make unique button, then it will not be instanced anymore. It will be separate or unique uh, as the button suggests, I guess. Now let's change the bottom cylinder's radius to 10. And let's change the height to 70, for, uh, for example. And let's select these two and go to group, group, and call this table. We have learned about the group tools. I will talk about uh, these more uh, in uh, not the next lesson, but the next lesson after that. Uh, but for now, you know what I'm doing. I'm just grouping the objects. It will only help us select them uh, with one click. Okay. Uh, what grouping does is uh, helps us to uh, select the objects with one click. It's not really merging or joining the objects together. It's only uh, joining the selection uh, of the objects, let's say. Okay. But now if I just hold, uh, select this and scale this up, I'm losing the ground position, ground level, as you can see. It's going beneath the grid axis, okay? We talked about this in the box example, for, uh, as you know. But if I go to the effect put only, and if I just uh, put the Z um, position, or just change the position uh, of the object to the origin, or move the uh, pivot to the origin, and disable this, then I can just scale it up and you can see that I'm not losing my ground position. Okay, let's try this with a tree and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, now I have some trees, trees from uh, Max uh, Tree. I really like this site. I'm going to use this in the upcoming corner render tutorials. Uh, it, it will be online, I guess, in a couple of weeks. You can watch them after this lesson, this uh, 3ds Max lesson. It will uh, be launched in uh, Udemy. You will see that uh, I, I'm going to use these uh, trees a lot. Uh, so I want, I want to show you where I downloaded these trees real fast. Uh, by the way, I'm planning to uh, share some tips and tricks like this, where you can find high quality free trees, for example, uh, during these uh, lessons. Uh, so when the things come up, I will talk random stuff. Uh, I'll talk about random stuff like this. Uh, you can see that this is a web page that or website that shares these amazing trees. Uh, they are really high quality. They are scanned, uh, 3D scanned. So uh, they, I recommend you to go out and check them. I recommend you to buy them as well. I bought, bought them, but um, for these uh, tutorial purposes, uh, we need some free uh, trees, 
high quality free trees. So what I'm going to show you is uh, I want to I want you to go into one of these uh, sets. And what Max Tree uh, does is they share a free sample of every collection they create. So you can download them from here. Okay, this is very cool and we will use these a lot. Uh, I re really recommend you to check out these and download some trees. Let's uh, use this one. Uh, this is the 40, 48 collection as you can see. If I merge this in here, uh, you can see that the pivot point is already at the bottom. But uh, if because of that, I can just really easily scale this up and down. And I want to show you if uh, this wasn't in the center, how to get get it into the center. Let's see, uh, click effect point and center to the object. And you can see that it's changed. Uh, the pivot po point position has changed. Now I can just click on effect pivot only again. And I can drop the Z um, position to the zero uh, to the origin or uh, the zero uh, right clicking to the spinners. And then I can just adjust the uh, point uh, or adjust the position in the X and Y axis uh, as I like. Okay. And then I can just disable the effect pivot only. Now I can just uh, scale this up and down. Let me show that to you. If I, uh, if this was in the center, then if I scale this, as you can see, I'm losing the ground plane. Okay. It's not really uh, very handy to use it like that. So I really recommend you to, if you are going to scale the objects, I really recommend you to move the pivot position to the bottom of the object uh, so that you won't uh, lose the ground position. Okay, uh, let's talk some uh, more about this. This is very fun. Uh, this is really very fundamental. So I, I want to just explain this a lot for you to make sense of it in your mind. So one more tool you can use or one more uh, button you can click in here is this one uh, effect object only. This will only move the object as you uh, can understand from the uh, phrase, I guess, from the button. And as you can see, you can only move the object with this. Uh, again, we are actually uh, moving the pivot point. Uh, like if you think of this in terms of the box, the pivot point is moving uh, actually. So we are doing the same thing, but reverse, I guess. There is a, another useful button in here, which is called Reset Pivot. Uh, you, this will reset the pivot point of the object to its original position. As you can see, it's thinking about that or keeping that in mind. Three more tools in here. If I just uh, click on the Effect Pivot Only, Center to Object, we have used this. It will center the pivot position, uh, pivot point, sorry, to the center of the object, the volumetric center of the object. Align to uh, Object means if I just rotate this, and click on align to object it will uh, align the uh, rotation or orientation of the pivot point to the boxes orientation and again if i rotate this and click on the align to world button it will align the pivot point to the world uh, x size um, and set the x and y axis like straight let's say okay they will be parallel to these axes in here that's what it means okay uh, this is, I guess, all about the pivot point. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about the work, uh, working pivot. Uh, it's very useful as well. Uh, I will talk about it in the next lesson. Uh, if you find this lesson useful, please hit the like button. You can subscribe to our channel with, uh, with the subscribe button. And also, please activate the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, it will help you uh, get notifications for our next videos. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.